Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on signal processing using Scilab. In this tutorial using Scilab, I will show you how to generate different kinds of signals and perform different operations to analyze signals. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 11.04 as the operating system with Scilab 5.3.3 version. Before practicing this tutorial, a learner should have a basic knowledge of Scilab. To know the basics of Scilab, please refer to the series of basic level of spoken tutorials in Scilab, which is available on our website. In this tutorial, I will describe about three basic signals. Plotting continuous and discrete sine wave, plotting step function, plotting ramp function. Let me start with plotting continuous and discrete sine wave. Let us switch to the Scilab console window. Here type t equal to 0 colon 0 0.1 colon 2 multiplied by percentage pi semicolon. Then x equal to sine of t semicolon. Then plot 2d into bracket t comma x and press enter key on your keyboard. This is a continuous sine wave. Let us discuss discrete sine wave. On the console window type plot 2d3 within bracket invert comma gnn comma t comma x and press enter. This is discrete sine wave. Let us now discuss about plotting step function and plotting ramp function. I have already written the code to generate step and ramp signal in the file called signals.sce. Let us open this file signal.sce using Scilab editor. Let us execute this code. Click on the execute button in the menu bar. Step and ramp signal is displayed in this plot. Now let us learn how to perform different operations to analyze signal. Let us see how to perform convolution between two signals. Let us switch to the Scilab console window and type x equals to within square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. Then type h equals to within square bracket 1 comma 1 comma 1. Now let us apply the convolution by typing convol opening bracket x comma h closing bracket and press enter on your keyboard. An output can be seen here. Now let us learn discrete Fourier transform for a discrete sequence by using the inbuilt command dft. On the console window here type x equals to within square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. Then type within square bracket xf equals to tft into bracket x comma minus 1 where x is the input vector and flag value is minus 1 for dft. Let us press enter. The output appears as this. Now I will show you how to calculate inverse discrete Fourier transform. This can be done by using the same inbuilt command dft. On the Scilab console window type square bracket x equals to dft within bracket xf comma 1. Here the flag value is 1 for idft. This is the output. Let us calculate discrete Fourier transform using fft. On the console window type x equals to square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and press enter and type y equals to fft within bracket x comma minus 1 press enter 
and you can see the output as this. Let us see how to calculate inverse discrete Fourier transformed by using FFT. On the Scilab console window, type y equals to within square bracket 10 comma minus 2 plus 2 into percentage i comma minus 2 comma minus 2 minus 2 into percentage i and press enter. Type x equals to fft within bracket y comma 1 and press enter. The output will be displayed as this. Let us now find out the correlation between two vectors. To do this on the Scilab console window, type x equals to within square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and press enter. Type x2 equals to within square bracket 1 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5 and press enter. Type r x1 x2 equals to cor within bracket x1 comma x2 comma 4 and press enter. The output will be displayed as shown. Let us learn how to sample the given signal. Let me open sampling.sce. I have already written the code in sampling.sce. Click on the execute button. A plot is displayed. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to plot sign, step and ramp signal, to perform linear convolution by convol, to perform DFT and IDFT by DFT, to perform FFT by FFT, to find out the correlation by core, to do sampling. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can also download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshop using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. Please contact us. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. The script has been contributed by Manas and this is Sheetal Prabhu signing off. Thank you for joining.